In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can make this 3D carousel in your WordPress website by using Elementor. Here you can change the slide by dragging or by clicking on the left and right arrows and also by clicking on these little dots. And you can see at the bottom this text is also changing with the slide changes. So without further ado, let's see how can we make that. So in this blank page, first of all I want to click on this plus icon and click on here to create a new section and inside this I want to take a media carousel widget here search for media carousel and drag this to here and from the left side you can add the images for the slides so let's upload an image and also upload another one and also upload the images for the other slides Okay, and here if you want to add some more images, you can also click on this add item button or if you want to delete any items, you can also click on this close icon. Okay, now first of all, I want to make this skin to the cover flow and now we can see a 3D perspective of these left and right images. So now first of all, I want to add some height for these images, make it to 470 pixel. And let's also add some border radius with these images. So from the style here make the radius to 10 pixel and I also want to add some spaces between these images. So make the space between to 30 and after that we also need to add some more dark color with this left and right arrows. So go to the navigation and make the arrows color to fully black. Okay now everything looks good. And after that, I also want to add some background color for this page. So go to the page settings and go to the style. Here from this background option, let's choose a pink color. And here at the top, I also want to add some spacing. So from the section settings, make the top padding to 130 pixel. Okay, now everything looks okay. But if you look closely at the top of these left and right images, you can see some portion of these images has been cut off. So to fix this issue, we need to go to this carousel settings and go to the advanced tab. And from the custom CSS, we need to write some code. Let's paste it to here. Okay, now you can see how this problem has been solved. So basically we have fixed this by using some top padding and then here I also want to add some bottom padding because here I want to make some more space between this image and also these dots. So make the padding bottom to 50 pixel and now that looks good. So now our 3D carousel perfectly working. After that here I also want to add some text at the bottom. So for this let's take a new section here and inside this we also need to take an inner section. So let's drag this to here and delete our this second column. So now if you look at our this final result, here you can see this is our title for this image and we have also take a description. So to take this title, we need an heading widget. So let's drag this inside this inner section and also add an text editor widget. Basically inside this inner section, you can add anything you want. For example, if you want to create a product carousel, in that case, you can also add a buy now button to here. Okay. So now here, let's change this text. Make its alignment to the center. And from the style, let's make its color to fully black. And also change its font to the poppins. Increase the font size to 40 pixel. And also make it more bold. For this paragraph, here I also want to make its alignment to the center and also make the color to fully black. And I also want to reduce the width for this text. So go to the advanced settings and from here let's make its width to the custom width and give it to 360. To place it on the center we again need to go to this column settings and make the horizontal alignment to the center. Perfect. So here we have created this inner section for our this first slide. So for these five slides, 
we need to make five intersection so let's duplicate this and now let's quickly change the content for all of this text okay we have changed all of this so here basically our this intersection is for our this first slide and this one is for our this second one and so on now i want to place all of this intersection at the top here on this place so for this we need to go to this top section settings and here we need to add some custom css so let's paste it to here and on this code snippet you can see we have make all of our these intersections positioned to the absolute and initially make its opacity to the zero so to make it work we need to do some more things so first of all go to this carousel settings and here we need to add a class slider and we also need to add another class with our this section so make it to slider dash text and then we also need to add some more javascript code so let's search for an html widget and drag this to the top of this carousel okay now we can see our this bottom text and when we change our this carousel we can see this text has also been changed according to this our middle slide okay and here we also need to add some height for our this section so go to this layout option and make the height to minimum height and give it to 250 pixel and make this column position to the top so now everything working perfectly so lastly i want to check this for our tablet devices open this responsive mode and go to tablet so on tablet we also need to keep three images so make the slides per view to three and you can see it's not perfectly showing on our preview but if you go to our final page and right click on here and go to inspect and click on this device toolbar icon and give it a tablet width like 800 pixel okay now we can see in tablet devices it also looks good but we need to reduce the height of these images so make it to 350 now that looks perfect so lastly i want to check this on our mobile devices and here i want to keep one images per view but on the left and right i want to keep some spaces with these icons so for this again go to this carousel settings and from this custom css we need to paste here some more code so here basically only for our mobile devices we have give some left and right padding with our slides so let's save this and from the preview let's make the width to 360 pixel now we can see the padding but we need to keep some more spaces with each of our slide so let's go to here and for this carousel i want to increase this space between now that looks perfect and lastly i want to edit our this text area so first of all i want to go to this section settings and on the left and right i want to give some padding 10 pixel and from here let's open our this navigator and you can see inside our inner section this is our heading so i want to reduce the font size of this make it to 30 and do the same for our another heading so let's copy the style from here and paste it for another heading okay now this is also perfectly working for our mobile devices so that's how we can create a 3d slider in elementor if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video